Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today we're going to continue playing as our new California Republic that should have been huge. But, regardless, we're going to have a good time and start planning some offenses. So, right now, unfortunately, I guess this was just scripted into the game, but I have a non-aggression pact somehow, some way with the Phoenix Republic. If I could take that away, I absolutely would. And we literally have a year before we can go to war with them. So, because these people are a bunch of bastards... Well, this is what we're going to do. Because they rose up against me after I literally gave them freedom, I'm going to have to kill everyone who is associated with them, including the Desert Rangers who betrayed me after I even gave them excess territory from our enemies, gave them what they really demanded, and yet they still backstabbed me and decided to say, we don't like you anymore. So, because of that, we have 125 days, and we will prepare for a war with them since... The Phoenix Federation cannot go to war with us because we have a non-aggression pact, and that they cannot break. At least I hope. So, uh, I've reorganized some of my forces. Really, two armies here. So, Chief Hanlon, he'll come from the south, around Shady Sands. Actually, I didn't know where he was headed to. He already has, um, yeah. Okay, so now he's headed over somewhere. Oh, I told him to go down here. That's fine. You don't need to go do that. No, 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 no. Y'all come up here. Now, we still have New Reno with us, and after the war with the Desert Rangers is over, I'm just going to give New Reno a bunch of territory and take the rest of it for myself. Hopefully, the Mormons don't go to war with us, especially New Canaan, or Canaanite. Anyways, and then we have some of our power armor soldiers and motorized divisions. We're pretty darn thick, not going to lie. As well as, eh, the motorized are 20 with it. That's not super great, but whatever. They'll come from the south. And this way, since, well... The Desert Rangers have their forces in the north. They're not going to have a very good time when dealing with us. So, uh, let's just make sure that we've got enough good fighters for our soldiers. Because Chief Hanlon will be the main force that thrusts into here. He already has 300 fighters, 300 dive bombers. That's good. That's good stuff. Make sure everyone's good and secured. Alright. And we have resistance to occupation in the North Passage. Huh. Well, not anymore, I guess. That's good. Do that. I'm definitely going to need a lot more infrastructure over here for all of our divisions. So that'll be good. We can still invite Ruby Valley Refuge. But yeah, last time that really surprised me that this all happened after we won the war. So go ahead and do this. Take this off. Go ahead, everyone. Just go ahead and repair. And I'm still going to go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel eventually. Like, that's my goal. I have, I guess, one army that's trying to make their way over here to defend against the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, but right now, I could add this... Hmm. It really depends on what the Brotherhood of Steel is going to do. I don't think they can go to war with me any, anyways, or anymore. NCR Brotherhood War reignited. We did not reignite it, so that's good. They can do that. They can do that. I don't think they can go to war with me anymore unless they actually just justify on me. So... That'll be fine. So if they can't go to war with me, hopefully, I'm going to, head, going to go ahead and put these two troopers with the motorized and the rest of the NCR heavy troopers. This way, I just want to wall up the Desert Rangers, get rid of them, and put, defend my lands against the Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, before we can, of course, go to the Phoenix Republic and take back what is ours, because I checked, and they shouldn't be able to field very much of an Air Force, if any. So you guys have no ground attack. Mortar Battery Zeppelin has pretty good... Gr oh, 30 ground attack. Hell yeah, heck yeah. Uh, Air Doctrine, we're doing well on. Naval stuff, we haven't really focused on very much, but it doesn't seem like we really need to focus on it very much. Foundries are good. Infantry stuff, that's a year ahead of time. Uh, basic Power Armor Reliability and Power Armor Support Reliability, or more max speed. Uh, let's go with speed, because why not? Because, let's see, what's the speed of these guys? Four kilometers, so 10% is like 4.4, 4, so that's not bad. Not bad. Rangers, I hope you're ready for another war, because the Lone Trees just declared war on the Lone Trees. Alright. I guess someone else is having a civil war here. They're over here? So, oh, they're up here. Lone Tree Blue versus Lone Tree Pute Color. Alright. Oh, we've got another Ranger group. Nice. Um, Since you're here... Oh, you're just defending? Um, I could use you in the north against... These guys. We'll be fine down here. Over here, we'll be fine. Yeah, go ahead and send yourself north. That might help out. 
up here. Do something like that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to split up the Desert Rangers forces. So, ground support. Um, get some more air superiority. Right now, I mean, the Phoenix Republic, they have a lot of allies, but they're probably not very good. And they have, like, no planes. Four to six. By the time we go to war with them in a year, they'll probably have maybe a hundred. Maybe at that. So, and their allies even don't have that either. So, and honestly, these guys really don't have that much manpower. I mean, hangdogs do, but... The Phoenix Republic doesn't have that much manpower. They have a lot of divisions, but still. I guess Two Sons has a lot. But we can still take them out if they have no manpower, you know. Uh, Desert Rangers have a little bit. Quite a few divisions. A few planes. New Reno uh, has a little bit of manpower. and Quite a few divisions and a few planes. That's good. Uh, another NCR Ranger. Great, 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 great stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, I can go to war any time, pretty much. With the Brotherhood, because all my divisions have enough piercing, hopefully, to pierce those enemy divisions. See, Sack City Reborn, awesome. Uh, what we're going to do next is the 80s Garage for Vehicles, and then Sack City Investments, and then more infrastructure. Because, why not? Actually, there's a lot of good stuff over here, huh? Let's do the 80s Garage, because I want to see what happens. And we can still invite Ruby Valley Refuge, of course. Does anyone need training? Ah, you know what, for now, since we're not at war, you guys might as well train, since we're not fighting anyone yet. Now, I do need more machine guns. I seem to always need more machine guns. But that's not bad. Go ahead and do that. Oh, do that here. Oh, yeah. Wow. There's only 17 out of 25 total things already built. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. 19 combat width. Um, Jeremy Castillo. Not bad. As long as I get enough air support, I can probably bomb the hell out of these guys. That's good. Uh, who needs it the most? Joey's down here. I think he'll be fine. Over here? Against the Brotherhood? You know what? Just in case, I'm going to start another army. Now, I know this does say Brotherhood Defense, but, you know, we got to work with whatever we have. Because right now, you guys are over there. U-24 divisions are down here in the south. Actually, I'm going to throw you over here then. U-6 are defending the territory over here, which is good. And U-17 are defending over here. So, three more divisions sound like a good idea to throw here. Hmm. You're over that division. Cool. We'll do that. So, you individually will do this. That'll be good. Uh, Jeffrey Reynolds. Maybe shouldn't have been made a field marshal, but whatever. Uh, you know what? There you under him, too. Ah, eh, we got enough command power. We'll get another general. Seth Jenkins, very nice. He's an attacker. And you have nothing really to do, so I'm gonna throw you over here. Any extra infantry will come over here. For now. Cool. Research slot. Uh, good on logistics. Pretty good on logistics. So recon could be nice. More trickle back sounds pretty good as well. Let's keep going so that we don't waste any time. We're just going to go to war with the Desert Rangers as fast as possible for backstabbing us. Because we wanted freedom, but no, they wanted excess freedom. No, 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 no. And they even have war goals against the to Tohono Nation and the Cowboy Country, which I gave them that territory. But they said, nah, nah. What did they do? They just... I have military access to new... Oh, new Canaan, huh? Interesting. So the Mormon Alliance. What are the Mormons doing currently? They're allied with all the other people. They're attacking the Long Trees. Then go to war with the Blackfoot against... Uh, Heaven Gates wants to go from them. Attack them. I'm trying to improve my relations with them. Ooh, scavenger equipment returned. Very nice. They got a lot of puppets. Oh, they're puppets. Oh. They didn't know they were puppets. Uh, we're going to continue improving relations, because why not? And we can still use some more... Equipment, really. Yeah. Let's, I, I need more machine guns. And I get some power armor, but... Oh, they cancelled lend -lease. I for, didn't even know that they we had a lend -lease with them, because... Well, they're jerks. And I didn't realize that. Cool. More planes? Alright, you guys... I have nothing to offer. Alright, scrap fighters. Just give me more dive bombers. I want this war to go by quickly. Alrighty tighty. 
Yeah, come under him. Oh, yeah, that'll be nice. Where are the rest of your planes? Um... You are over in New Vegas. Why are you in New Vegas? There's more than enough stuff over here. I mean, I can give you, like, this. Help you out. Perhaps. I can. Oh, actually, this might help with searching for stuff in the Desert Rangers. Um, do that so that we get even better area coverage over all this territory. Oh, I still can't believe they decided to do that to us. So bad, so bad to us. 80s garages, very nice. Barren investment opportunities, very nice. Yeah, we still, we're stacking quite a few guns. 35 anti-personnel equipment. Well, oh, I'm making factories, but I'm not, I didn't increase this at all. Makes no sense. What the heck? Uh, oh, I need some more support equipment, too. Put this at the top. We can go to war now with the Desert Rangers. And apparently I was just recommended something from YouTube. Thanks for screwing me up. I need to delete my notifications. Uh, do that, and then do that, because we're going to go straight to war. And the screen's probably going to... What is that? La Grangas. It looks like a Mexican flag, kind of. Um, oh, that... No, this is kind of a generic focus tree? Yeah, it kind of is. Um, yeah, give me just one moment here. I need to get rid of this no notification. Alright, and we're back. So, let's go ahead and go to war. Sorry about that. Didn't mean for that to happen, but... You know, sometimes you just can't control some things. Alright, let's go to war with these guys. Bring a new Reno. That'd be great. Actually, the Brotherhood. Uh, I sh should probably actually put Benjamin Harris... Uh, way and actually put Lieutenant Gorobetz with the rest of the guys, but that's fine, whatever. Alright, so we've begun the attack. We might not be winning in every location, but we're winning in enough locations. Up, oh, see, there you go. Good job, guys. Ooh, stim pack. Oh, I love stim packs. Anti tank support piercing, very nice. I kind of want to see how well my power armor does, but I'm winning so fast that I can't really compare what's actually going on. There he goes. So, they can't pierce us at the moment with their motor eyes, which is nice. And we caught another ally, Grand Traps. Ah, oh, thank you, but I don't really need you guys right now. Yeah, Desert Rangers, this is what you get for backstabbing me. Allowing this to happen. Pathetic. And the Lone Tree was annexed by the Lone Tree. Very nice. Actually, what about New Canaan? Can they annex their subjects? That'd be very interesting. Northern Missionaries. Luck of the Irish. Convert and then Puppet. People. Interesting. Blessed are the merciful. Alright, Missionary Alliance. Missions of God. Kingdom of God. Form oh, Form Deseret. Oh, that's very interesting. That, this, this will definitely turn into a powerful faction if we don't do anything against them. I mean, I really didn't want to do that much against them, but, you know, if I have to, I have to. Mystery Research. Um, well, that's weekly stability. That's okay. That's not great. More equipment. Yeah, I keep going for equipment. It's not a lot of equipment, but it's better than nothing. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I need you guys to go a little bit more ham. Oh, oh, come on. Storm Area 51. Sounds like a fun time. They still can't pierce us, so that's amazing. Ah, uh, we have the alien technology now. Beautiful. Basic power armor, very nice. More max speed, and we'll get the next power armor battalion. Nice. Not bad, we suffered eight, almost a thousand casualties. Well, they suffered over 1.4 thousand, close to two. Very good. Yeah, just go ahead and cut these guys off. I mean, there's no reason for them to exist, really. Uh, Rangers, there you are. I don't want you just... Ooh, they're actually being supported by the Brotherhood of Steel, the Western Brotherhood. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Ground support. Thank you. Alright, so now... Uh, you guys are probably all good and ready to prepare in advance. So go ahead and stop training for now. Look, ooh, these guys have all been cut off. Nice. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Do that. Focus on this. Go ahead and take them out. You guys, stop attacking like crazy. And really just focus on this little bubble here. That'll be good, but you guys go ahead and take these guys out. Play them out of the misery. No longer get the effects of the Barons, which I don't know what that was. We need to get rid of Legacy of Navarro. 
Nice. So, the barons of Northern California might actually know what it means to have all the money in the world, as their collective wealth exceeds the budget of even the mighty NCR. When they can put their minds and their bottle caps to the task, there's very little they can't achieve, which is great. A strong example of this might be their efforts to gain more direct control over Sac City. Uh, civilian workshops, militias get 10% attack defense. Alright, and then acquisition of local crimes. I don't use militia, so that's basically worthless. Soft attack and hard attack. Uh, civilian or arms. Honestly, I could use more arms right now. Let's, just do, let's do that. And then we can finish that part of the tree up with the Long Road Home, which gives us more infrastructure, which would give us more resources. But do I need more resources? Yes, I do. So hopefully this will be okay for us. Cool. Okay, so they finished off very quickly. I'm not going to do this off screen. I'm just going to do this here and right now. So, because the new Reno people have been great, we'll give them the 305. I'm giving them a lot of territory because I don't want to deal with all this. We'll give them like all of that. New Klamath is their puppet. If they want, to, if New Reno wants to give Klamath stuff, they can they can later on. Uh, Grand tribes, you basically did nothing, and you know what? Actually, you know what? I might just give let's give New Reno something else because they did great for us. There you go, man. That you should feel pretty good about yourself. Um, and I'm going to take everything else. There you go. Nice. That's good stuff. That's some really good stuff. I'll put you over here. Alright, so. If I really wanted to, we might just be able to go to war with the Brotherhood right now. Because for this, we would have enough soldiers to go this direction. Uh, actually, I won't because they will call in the Mojave chapter. And that wouldn't be very much fun. Do I have cores on these territories? No, I don't. Um, do I have cores on anything else? Hmm, vipers. I don't think I have very many more cores. Now let's put this guy up. You all come over here. And do this. Just in case they might attack, you never know. You guys come over here. You do this. Something like that. Um, rangers? Focus on their puppet. That'll be good. Actually, the rangers probably need to also organize themselves and train. Now it's better reinforce rate. And then support. Train mongrels. I've used those before. They're pretty good, actually. Ah, let's get some more recon support. Very cool. So, um, yeah. We have Area 51 now. Very good. Could use a little bit more metal, so let's do that. And do that there. So could use maybe another thing, a military factory. So we'll do it right there as well. Very good. Nice. Oh, I'm going to need some guys for Hoover Dam. Uh, actually, you guys come back here. Six Ranger Divisions might be good enough to hold out there. And, okay, the Lone Trees decided to, to kill themselves again. All right, so be it. Uh, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's September. We took out one of our enemies that was one of our allies, but, you know, things happen. Yeah. Twisted hair shouldn't be too hard to kill off. Oh, they got a lot more manpower now, but not many planes. The Phoenix people have a few planes, but not a lot of manpower. A couple divisions. Unpredictable attacks. More piercing is great. Cyberdog, howitzers, incinerators sound nice. Can't do that yet. Robotics? I've done nothing for robotics. In due time, though. In due time. Uh, let's do this to get more reliability, because that sounds kind of nice. And continue stockpiling a crap ton of weaponry. Uh, you guys can train since we got some time here. If I can, I would get rid of my non-aggression pact, but we can't do it before March 20th, 2284. So. And I will have a lot of divisions on my border with them. As you can already tell. Let's see, in preparation. Doesn't look like Air XP really does very much for you. And Cassandra Moore could use maybe a few more dive bombers. And... Fighters and stuff like that. We're we'll probably use Cassandra more as a person to really push hard into the enemy territory. Um, I mean, we can also continue building up some of our infrastructure if we have extra time and stuff like that. Now, I'm not holding down sh uh, control, but I'm just holding it. I'm holding down shift just so that it'll build eventually. Awesome, even more Rangers. Yeah, throw them on in the mix. Hoover Dam. Oh, Battle for Hoover Dam comes once again. But it's cool to have the Western Grand Canyon in here as well. 
Ah, oh, long road home. Very nice. So, next up, let's do mayoral victory speech. Because I think I should have taken this one a long time ago. Let's see, you can't do this because we're currently scavenging for equipment. Alright, so be it, so be it. Blythe is fine, small defenders. Not bad, not bad. NCR Rangers are looking pretty good. NCR Troopers, I could make them 40 width. I could replace an infantry with another machine gun. But I don't have enough machine guns at the moment. We get quite a bit more soft attack, but we lose breakthrough, which sucks. We lose defense. We lose recon bonuses. We take up more supply, suppression, organization, HP. So I don't think that's really worth it. So I'm not going to probably do that. Oh, another uh, guy here. Go to the division that has only three of you. Yeah, like re re literally right in front of you. Nice. All right. And scavenger equipment returns. Very nice. Very good. Yep, just keep throwing them on there. Awesome. And we need more power armor to scavenge for equipment. Reconnaissance 1 is done. Are any of my divisions actually using reconnaissance? Oh, we actually are. That's good. All right. Well, since we have them, might as well use them. And what's next? I can't use power armor. I can't scavenge for other stuff. Well, I mean, there's really not much for me to scavenge. I use vehicles, so I guess we'll do that. More infantry. Very nice. Rapidly increasing our size of our military towards our back. Yes, I've left, left my border with the Mormons completely undefended, but the Mormons are nice people, right? They're very nice people. They wouldn't backstab me. No. I would never get backstabbed by anyone, right? Yeah, never. Absolutely never. Oh, oh. High Chapel. Guys, I know you're a pastor or a father. And you got cool shades without even, like, the things that hold your glasses up onto your ears. Very interesting. He must be using some of that godly power to hold his glasses up. But I do, if I do get attacked by the Mormons, I mean, I will rush soldiers up north from the Brotherhood of Steel area. So, we always have a contingency plan. Go ahead and repair if you need to. Odds are they probably don't. Um, it is January. We have two months. I could invite Ruby Valley Refuge, but then we have to go to war with these fellas up here, the Pale Folk, and there's really no point for me to, you know? I mean, I guess we have a little bit of time, you know? Maybe that wouldn't be the worst thing if we did that. And if I'm not going to go to war with the Brotherhood anytime soon, you know, maybe we should do that just for funsies. Oh, you already have a couple planes. That's good. Um, good. Good. Go ahead and do that. And if you have too many groups, that's fine. I'll throw you over here. Nice. All right, guys, make it on up here. I know it takes a while with your power armor and whatnot. Mayor of Victory speech. And we're gonna go with people. Day glow. Baja. Migration, huh? Super mutant migration. Hmm. Daily elite support. That we might not want that. Take me out to the ball game. Hmm. Mm. Let's go with the people of Dayglow. The new industry sounds good. Sounds very promising. Oh, basic power armor. Reliability. Very nice. Can I do this yet? Oh I can. Better reinforce rate. Alright, so we're basically already up here. Simple tracks, nice, more reliability, and we'll get some more tank reliability before we can even build tanks. We're going to allow these people in to our faction, because why not? They're at war, hopeful village, what is? what are these places down here? Construction engineering, they have quite a bit of manpower, but not a lot of divisions. You guys have a lot of manpower, but not a lot of divisions either. Looks like you're just a generic focus tree, that doesn't do very much. Yeah, go ahead and... Help him out. Nice. And we'll finish these guys off. And you know what? I'll actually probably split up some of this territory. I'll give some to the Ru Ruby Valley Refuge. And I'll give the rest to New Reno. Because at the moment... At the moment... New Reno hasn't pissed me off. So... Hopefully they don't backstab us. That wouldn't be very much fun. And we got more equipment. Um... Ooh, use vehicles. Yeah, do that. Nice. Um, let's see. Because I am God Emperor, 
Uh, if I give anything to Ruby Valley Refuge, they, they really can't even access it unless it's through other people's lands, but, you know, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to give them Vault City. I'll give you this territory. And then for New Reno, I don't I don't want any of this. I don't really need it, so. Cool. Help expand your lands a little bit and get, help expand my allies some more. And we go to war with Phoenix Republic. Expires next year. Good. Cool. You guys did great. Thank you for your contributions. Made my ally a little bit stronger. God, just please don't backstab me. Please. You know, I'm going to get... Guarantee independence. We'll lower world tension by 2.4%. Alright, that didn't lower world tension. Then again, what was I what was I expecting? So... Hmm, is there any way for the enemies to get into our lands here? You guys are almost done. Keep training, guys. Keep training. I'll throw on some more planes for these guys soon enough. Uh, radar? Uh, sure, why not? Better planes. We want as much plane coverage as possible. We'll do that down there. And they have an airport down here. Or air base. There's a lot of planes already here. Oh, fighters. Give me... Put them on the rangers. Ooh, you definitely need some. What's another 100? Scrap fighters. Dive bombers. They're not great, but eh, whatever. Do that. Over here. Salvage fighters. As well as scrap fighters. Alright. Scrap fighters. And we're almost ready to go back to war with these rebels that want too much. They just wanted too much. People of Diglo. We'll do people of Diglo and then we'll probably end up with a war between our guys here, which will be good. Good and fun. Ah, the Boneyard. Love it. All's good in the Boneyard, my friends. Nice. The new industry, the optimistic people of Diglo, are prepared to invest in the future, though it will take some time to reach the desired point. Which area of the city's industry is being invested in and how far or nearsighted shall they be? Oh, wow. Very long term plans. Short term plans for immediate stuff. Uh, let's go with very long-term plans. I like that. I like to build more stuff that I can choose what I want to build. Um, prosperity. Resource efficiency gain. We can use that. Let's do that. Yeah, that sounds good. So, our non-aggression pack should be over with these guys. Wait, I can't do it. Oh, it's, it has to be within six days. In six days, I can. Good. Well, what have we done? We've added someone to our alliance. We've taken out the traitorous rangers, in which we have subjugated them to... Our peoples and oh you guys are still training that is not good I should have caught that earlier give me about two or three days maybe they'll declare war on me maybe they won't I know I'm going to declare war on them and I'm talking way too fast so I want to go to war with these guys but how long would that take oh, that's too long so really the war will start down here I'm not going to really be able to invade these guys uh, Navajo nations um Oh, yeah. Oh, we got equipment, ex equipment back. Oh, the Navajo Nation declared war on these guys over here. They're going to get torn up, which is fine with me. All right, before we're done here, let's see, you guys are over here. Oh, you're over. Oh, yeah, just wait. Sorry, Lee Oliver, but I got to do that. Nice. Make sure everyone has some sort of planes. They do. Get some more scrap fighters on here. Because we're going to head to war with the rebels. Ugh, you gotta hate it when people you care about, they just rebel. And they treat you like garbage. Give them, my guys, just a few extra days to prepare themselves, plan for themselves. They're good to go. Alright, here we go. You god dang filthy stinking rebels. You're going to have to order to reason whether you like it or not. So I want all y'all move over here. Y'all move over here as well. I don't care if you call them the hang dogs. They mean nothing to me. So what we're going to do, we're just going to quickly fly through these territory. Going to have a good time with everyone. And expand as fast as we possibly can. Cool. And it's weird I can't go to war with these guys. If I had to justify... 140 days still? Yeah. Come on, New Reno. 
Calling y'all in. The Black Sun's our enemy. Good. We have to defend. Move a damn, so be it. You guys are doing great. Oh, hello there. Yeah. And we've already... I have marched straight back into the lands that we once had. With our defenders actually doing a pretty good job. Um, you guys, sure, why not? You guys can join in on the fun. We're gonna put down some people here. Rebellions will not be tolerated, no matter who it's organized by. But we've definitely expanded already. Go ahead and move in. Oh yeah, go ahead and move in, yeah. Crush these guys. Crush the rebellion. Okay, defenders guys, you really don't need to do that too much. Push them out, push them out, push them out. Better recon, that will definitely help. Air doctrine, tactical, strategic bombing, why not? Yeah, we have absolute air superiority, which is great. Come on, guys, I thought you were, I thought you were good. I thought you wanted to fight for your freedom. Freedom has a cost, whether you like it or not. Oh, actually, that's really bad for me to do that. Hold on. And the rangers, actually, I should go to the rangers. Cool. And then you all will come over here. Nice. Not bad. Not bad, guys. And I guess the Pharaoh's added divisions to us. Let's see. We've taken a thousand casualties. They've suffered over 7,000 with their numbers going to drastically increase in the foreseeable future. So, but that's all the time we have for today, guys. What have we done? We've taken out our traitorous former allies, liberated and added someone else to our alliance, and we have begun the war once again to crush the rebellion that demanded too much good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we crush the rebellion and probably go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel. See you tomorrow.